Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tomb Raider games on the GBA. Tomb Raider Legend is a job well done. The game is 2D, but you get the full experience of a Tomb Raider game, but just translate it into 2D instead of the game being 3D. While solving puzzles and platforming around, Lara can use her acrobatics like she would in the 3D game, but it's still fascinating how close the translation to 2D feels, to the 3D platforming style. She can push and pull objects, swing on ropes, vault off of horizontal beams, swing within platforms using her magnetic grapple. You get what you get on a console, only that in 2D. Also, there are swimming levels and vehicular levels, and when in combat, even if the game is 2D, the combat is also great. It feels more basic as it's close to the stereotypical side-scrolling mechanic, but it still has charm and has unique stuff too. It's in the more advanced league, as you not only use Lara's dual pistols, but you can also grab machine guns and grenades from fallen enemies, and the mechanics feel great. Unfortunately, there isn't a bunch of weapons you can use, but the mechanics still feel great. The game is also lengthy, it takes you around 6 or 7 hours to finish, and it gets you through similar locations as the big game, like Bolivia, Peru and England. The game, even if it's not a Tomb Raider game we are used to, meaning that the game isn't 3D and the exploration isn't like in the 3D games. But still, the game is a solid experience that translates the 3D game very nicely into a 2D side-scroller. Also a small detail I liked is that each level has a different loading picture. Tomb Raider Prophecy isn't all that great, it's boring and when it's not boring it's frustrating. The boring part is because what you do most in the game is flip switches. You have some light gun combat but what you will mostly do is flip switches. And flipping switches is not always easy because the game is isometric and it's a nightmare in some parts. You can't always tell the perspective or what is a ledge and what is just the floor or a wall or just a random texture. The game is just bad because of these two major flaws. The puzzles don't even evolve or become more interesting, you just flip switches. It's just a chain of boring, find the ledge from the isometric view and flip a switch. And gun down some enemies in between. I don't recommend this game. If you want to play Tomb Raider on the GBA, play the first game. 